After all the colors and prints, we're back with neutrals, which is where I'm the happiest at. I think if you're not sure about which colors go in your wardrobe or which clothes to invest in, I would definitely start with neutrals because you can mix and match so easily and that makes your life just so much easier to get dressed and to get ready for work because simply once you figure out which color palette works for you, I feel that you can simply mix and match your wardrobe and then you're going to be ready for any event that you want to go to. Sometimes having a lot of prints or many different shades and colors makes things really hard because you find one print that doesn't go with the other or simply one tone that doesn't go with the other one so having neutrals in your wardrobe I think is the best you can do and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to style these pieces hi everyone welcome back to my channel today I actually want to show you something really nice I want to thank New York Rose Forever for gifting me this beautiful bouquet of, of roses. It comes in this beautiful box here, which I'm going to be doing a close-up so you guys can see. It's a, a beautiful gift if you want to give it to yourself or if you're thinking of gifting someone. I chose this small bouquet because I live in a small apartment and I do not have a lot of space, but they have so many different options and I'm so happy to be able to offer you a discount code for $25 off. You can use my code Mila25, I'm gonna put on the screen. These roses, they smell amazing and they actually feel like a real rose because I wasn't sure if they're going to be rough to the touch like plastic feel, but they feel like they were freshly picked. I was reading about them and they do say that they are freshly picked and then they use natural oils to preserve everything that you see on the roses. They have also different colors, they have blue and pink, purple, they, they have even black which are so beautiful. And the pink ones, because of the Breast Cancer Awareness Month, they're going to be donating part of their earnings to the breast cancer research. They are a gorgeous gift. You have to see their website, they don't have only those marble like boxes, but they also have some suede which is vegan, just so you know, and they have velvet, everything vegan, everything so well made, and they also have a really cute one which is acrylic, but it has a little drawer which you can just keep your makeup inside or something you want to use as decoration but also is functional. They also smell so good, I don't know how they do that, it's really amazing how they they preserve those roses. I have read so many reviews and also watched on YouTube and a lot of them say that they actually last over a year. So I think it's a great way to keep roses in your house if you like roses without having to buy them every week. It's definitely a beautiful gift. I will do another review later after I use them for maybe about three months just to let you guys know how it's holding up. But for what I see now, the roses are just so, so beautiful. Don't forget to use my discount code for $25 off. So next week, I am going to be reviewing some pieces from Cezanne, which are the Chuck trousers I recently got and I haven't received them yet as well as the Mahta trousers. I got them in two colors, one is beige and the other is gray because I think they're really good for work. I'm really hoping they work for me and I'll let you guys know. I will also post on my Instagram so if you don't want to wait an entire week, just follow me on Instagram, it's Mila New York. I will be definitely sharing those with you. And let's get started. So today I'm going to start from these gorgeous shoes. I have been waiting for them for a long time because Cezanne actually shared these shoes many times in stories and reels and I was just waiting for them to actually arrive and it fi finally did. They have now in three colors this beautiful rosy beige the khaki which feels more like a brown color although it does have a little hint of green and now they have a like slate gray almost black pair as well. So I got the beige ones in size 9 and I got the khaki ones in size H just because it was not available on my size. Just so you guys know, I am linking everything below and I also have all my measurements if you don't know anything about me. So getting back, uh, the 9 is perfect for me. I am 8.5 and, and 9, between 8.5 and, and 9 US size and the 9 I feel like it is perfect. The length is great and it also gives me a lot of 
not a lot of room, but it gives me enough room on my toe box area for me to walk comfortably. The khaki, on other hand, because it's the eight, I would say it is not too small in terms of length. It's a tiny bit small. Maybe my foot gets out of the shoe for like a tiny bit, but that wouldn't bother me so much. What bothered me on the eight is that my toe area is really squished. So definitely size up if you're not sure if you're in between sizes you definitely should should take the higher one the, the size up or if you have narrow feet maybe you're not going to have a problem with that i have average fit, feet and i feel like the nine is a perfect size the shoes are very comfortable at least these they feel very comfortable on me but for what i mentioned it is my the good size for me the age i could wear them maybe use a little bit of a shoe stretcher but I don't want to go through that. I think I'm just going to return the khaki ones and I'm going to keep the beige ones. I feel like the beige will go with so much. It's a neutral color and one thing that made me get them is the fact they use these shoes with socks and now that it's getting chilly, it's getting cold, I really don't want to wear only shoes like this, you know, because it is going to feel cold and if I'm wearing a, a jacket or like a coat, it doesn't really make sense to wear something that's like bare feet, <laughs> you know? So I really loved when they were with tights and also uh, like wool socks. I think it just, it looks so cute and it also makes it really cozy and really more comfortable and warm, which is the point of wearing something during the fall. So the color is a really good neutral. It's a really good nude color. I think it's very similar to my skin, maybe a little bit darker. But if you have darker skin, I think it would be a beautiful contrast too. So I would say this color is good for any skin color. It's going to look so, so cute. And I just love it so much. It is very comfortable. It doesn't come out of my foot when I'm walking. The heels are not too high, which I think is great. And I'm excited to wear them for work as well. Because sometimes I have, I have some Cezanne shoes that I basically wear when I go out, which honestly is not that much but i'm always looking for comfortable shoes for work because i do walk a lot i take the subway so it makes sense to have to have something that's not too high heel and it's not too uncomfortable so these i will i, I would say i highly recommend i think they're beautiful the khaki ones just so you guys know it does feel more like a brown brown color but it does have a little hint of green to it of khaki to it so depending on the light you can see more the green depending on the light you can see more the brown i feel like the khaki ones they are a little bit shiny so like patent leather so if you don't like that i would stick to this one it, it is patent too it feels like patent but somehow it's more malleable i feel like the khaki ones they are more structured even the straps when you feel them it does feel a little bit more structured and this one's a little softer like to the touch so i can't tell for sure if the other one will be uncomfortable i don't think they will because for what i tried it felt very comfortable i think the problem with me was just that i, did, I didn't find my usual size so they're beautiful i think they go with so much they go with jeans with skirts with dresses i think they're very flattering too because they don't have anything on the ankle like on the front of the ankle Usually when I have something in the front of the ankle, it kind of breaks my image and it doesn't look very flattering because it makes my legs go like really, look really short. So I really like that they elongate your silhouette. It's just really good. I love, love long knee shoes. Now going ahead, there is this beautiful Mariam jumper here and it is so beautiful. But do you need another <laughs> a crew sweater? I think it is a gorgeous piece. I would say it looks a lot like this part, it looks a lot like a Jeet jumper. I don't know if you guys know that jumper. I'll put a picture. This part looks identical to it. Of course, the color is different and also these sleeves are different, but the feel is also the same. So this one has, let me see, I got this one in my actual size, which is the small. And it's 35%, 34% kid mohair, 34% wool, 27% polyamide, and 5% elastane. Now those little ruffles here, the lace, it's 100% cotton. It is a bit itchy because of the mohair. So if you are sensitive to it, I would skip on this one. They do have other pieces that are cotton or merino wool. 
and they're very comfortable. It does not bother me, so that's not a factor that makes me not purchase the item. If some of them are up, can be very itchy, so I would skip on these, but this one's not like extremely itchy. And I love the, the jumper. I think it's a beautiful piece. The color is just very easy because it's a crew. You can combine this with so many bottoms. And I love the fit. I think it's very flattering. You can look at it and it does feel like boxy, but it actually when you put on, you could easily wear this tucked in or untucked and it's going to be fine. As always, I like to put the sleeves up because I think it looks better on me. And yeah, it is a beautiful one. This one size small and I really love this one. So, so pretty. I'm deciding if I'm going to keep that because I already have other Ecru sweaters. So I might just sell one of them and keep that or just return that and keep mine. I will decide with some time. And the last ones are the Nile skirt and the Sammy jumper. So I was so excited to get this, but it sold out so quickly and I wasn't able to. And I think I was waiting for this for maybe two weeks or more and I could never find. They got, they released the blue one, the navy one, which I got in my usual size. Uh, small for the top and small for the bottom and it was a great great fit but I had tried an aisle skirt in this exact color before in the small size and I did not like how it looked on me because it was just showing too much it was showing like the shape of my hips too much my especially my butt and also if you had something underneath like a tucked in sweater it would just show all the bumps and that was bothering me so I I actually emailed the New York City store here and the Cezanne New York City store just to ask them if they had the set and they didn't have for so long. They were so nice and they let me know when the set arrived. So I asked my friend Mo, by the way, I'm putting her Instagram here. She has a really nice style, she has beautiful handbags. So if you guys like that kind of stuff and want to see some New York City content, her Instagram is really, really fun. And back to the Nile skirt. I asked her to get the set for me, so she lives just a few blocks from <laughs> from Cezanne and she went there and got this for me, of course I paid her back and then finally it's here. So I am so happy with this one, I love the color, love, love this color so much. I like this even more than the Ecru color, I just think this beige, it's called natural but it's kind of a beigey uh, nude pinky, you know, undertone, I think it's just so pretty and they can definitely be worn separately. So you can wear the sweater as I am showing with the, the jeans, the pants, you can wear with the skirt, it looks so nice. This is a cropped sweater, so keep that in mind. If you don't like cropped sweater, I think this won't be for you. I do love it because I love to tuck in all my sweaters and that's a plus for me. Sometimes when the sweater is bulky or oversized, I have a really hard time tucking it in because it just gives, a, like a leaves a lot of fabric, excess fabric on the pants and makes it really bulky. But this one I don't have a problem with that. I think it goes perfectly well with the skirt. Just so you guys know, I got the top in small and I got the skirt in medium because of what I mentioned. I felt like the small was not a great fit for the natural color although I got the navy in small but I have a video here so if you guys want to see that review I am putting it here so you can take a look at and see how the small fit on me I don't think it felt tight but it looked tight if that makes sense so the material is 53% merino wool and 47% cotton it is so 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 comfortable there is a zero itch with this one so nothing to be concerned about I do feel like this might be sold out right now, I would check on that, but either way I am linking everything below in case you guys want to check that later and see if it becomes available. You can also ask Cezanne to let you know whenever they become available. You can ask for a notification on the website and they will email you as soon as your item is back. So another way is by using Karma, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Karma. Karma is an app or like an ex extension, browser extension that you can sign up and 
you can just save all the items you like if you want to buy later and they will let you know if it ever goes on sale or if something is out of stock they will also tell you whenever it's back in stock usually i actually get my notifications by karma and not by Cezanne. sometimes i get by Cezanne, but usually it's too late and karma just lets me know right away i am linking the extension in the description box so you guys can take a look at that so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am really happy with these pieces of course i have to make choices i am not keeping everything i would definitely keep the set that is for sure and i would definitely keep this beige pair i think it's just so cute so pretty but not sure about the sweater yet because i already have so many crew sweaters and it just doesn't make sense to have so many but i definitely wanted to order just to share with you guys because this one caught my attention as soon as I saw and I will definitely return the khaki ones because it's not my size although I love the color I don't feel like I need both of them and I'll just return the khaki and keep these ones because they are so so cute so again thank you for watching if you are not subscribed yet just make sure you click on the button and don't forget to give the thumbs up it helps my channel so 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 much thank you a lot and I hope you guys have a wonderful day bye